Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and we are doing my January TBR and I am so excited about this. I'm excited to start the new year with my TBR for the new year and like the first books I'm going to get into for the new year. So I am excited about this TBR. There's a lot of books I'm excited about here. I am doing this video a little bit into January so some of these I have already started. But anyway, let's get into what I plan on reading this month, first month of the year, a fresh year. I'm Again, I'm just so excited in case you couldn't tell. But anyway, we are going to start off with the graphic novels and manhwa. So I have one of each and I usually, I usually have more graphic novels and manhwa and manga and things of that nature. I don't know, I want to get to a lot of the actual novels I have here. So I was a little short on them this month. but. That's not to say I won't be reading more. These are just what I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get to this month. So here they are. So the first one I have here is Book Love by Debbie Tung. This was one that was bought for me for Christmas by my brother and his girlfriend. And it essentially is a compilation of comics. Here's what I mean. I will do a little flip through. I know I did this before, but it's like just comic strips like compiled into a book and I have heard people talk about this book and say how relatable it is and I am excited to jump into it. I did open up so if you open up just even the first couple pages are just stunningly beautiful. So there's that one and then we have a girl there reading books and then also how amazing. How stinking cute. So there is that one. This next one I am a little iffy about. If you know, I am new to manga and manhwa and I just really started getting into it. I did read one manga when I was younger and there's a story behind that. I have to get to telling you guys this story because it, it's it's cool. It's cute. Um, but anyway, I have just gotten into manga very recently and manhwa on top of that and I am enjoying them so much. As you can tell, I'm enjoying graphic novels. I'm just enjoying so much variety in my reading. I felt like I've never had variety like this. And like, I'm just so loving it. But anyway, this is the manhwa I plan to read this month. And I'm nervous about it. So I know there are saran wrapped manga and manhwa for like mature material. Now I didn't know how explicit this stuff can get. And I picked up one that when I was flipping through, I was like, I was not expecting. Like, I was in shock and disbelief and, like, I didn't know. But anyway, I have it here and I do plan on reading it this month to give it a try and see how it goes. And that is The Dangerous Convenience Store. Now, I do have to say, I've heard a lot of absolutely incredible things about this book. So, like I said, again, I am excited to jump into it. Like I said, I cannot even flip through this book but let me see if I can get here are both of our characters on one page here both of our main characters on one page here so there are the two that are our main characters you can see them kind of on the cover here but the main guys like further back that you can't see them but so that is that one again super nervous about but also really intrigued to see you know if I like it how I like it things of that nature so that one is on here then we're jumping in and I told you guys I was going to read this by the end of 2023 and I did not. So now it is on my first reads to be read in 2024 and that is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. As you guys know there is so much hype surrounding this book. I'm excited to give it a try, see what I think, dive into this world. So many people have so many amazing things to say but I've also read many reviews that are not so great. So I'm curious to see where I land on that spectrum. As you guys know, I love trying out like controversial books where people are either loving it or not liking it whatsoever. You guys know I love that stuff. So here we are with Magnolia Parks in January. We will see how I like it. I do have the first Daisy Hates book also on my TBR card. That's why I'm looking over there. I do have it on there as well. So we will see. I have high hopes as you can tell since I already got the second book in this world. So we'll see. 
And then the next three that I have here are actually new releases. And I believe these were actually put on the shelves before their actual release dates. And that's how I got my hands on them. I literally just picked these up from Barnes and Nobles literally not that long ago, probably like two, two days ago, maybe. Um, so the first one I have here is Anna O by Matthew Blake. Now I haven't heard of this one. I've had, I've like literally not heard a single person talk about it. So I decided to look at the synopsis. Generally, I don't look at synopsis. And even when I don't hear books, I don't normally look at synopsis, but I looked, I like flipped this one open. And the first thing that caught my attention was this. It says, what really happens and what are we capable of when we sleep? What if our nightmares really aren't nightmares at all? And essentially what ends up happening from the synopsis here is this woman had ended up killing two, let me see, the one night, yeah, stabbed two people to death in her sleep. So this caught my attention right away and Based off of that, I picked it up. I'm excited to jump into this. I'm excited to see what it's about. And I'm excited to, you know, share it with you guys. So there's that one. This one I've heard so many things about already. And I've seen a lot of people already have it from Book of the Month. That one is First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. So of course I had to pick it up. I, I, this is one I planned to pick up. But then when I heard everybody raving about it, I knew I needed to get my hands on a copy of this. So I picked this one up as well. And then the last one here is a YA and I did talk about this in my most anticipated releases for 2024 and this one is a Fragile Enchantment by Allison Saft. So there is that one. The cover is absolutely stunning and again another one that I cannot wait to get into. There are some really good authors on the back here with their quotes and there is Axie O, Chloe Gong. So Again, another one that I am super excited about. So some other ones that I am going to be reading in the month of January, I did end up getting some ARCs, which I am so excited about. I have not been someone who has read any ARCs yet, so to get a couple of them in January, I was so excited. Again, I, I literally cannot wait. So the first one being Slate of Hand by Tanya Capes, and I will put a little picture of that book over here. And this one, she is a cozy mystery author, but I think this one's like right on the border of like cozy mystery and just like general mystery, you know, vibes going on. So I don't necessarily think it's all too cozy. I could be quite wrong. We'll see. I'm going to end up reading it in January. This one comes out January 25th. So again, super excited to have the ARC. Super excited to read it. Cannot wait. So the next two books I am actually getting sent by the author. And the first one of these books is The Love You Know by Elena Lyons. And I have heard absolutely amazing things about this book. If you look up the reviews, they are absolutely amazing. So I am so excited to jump into that book. And then the second book coming from her is actually the sequel called The Love You Have and this one is the one that I'm getting the arc for. This one does not come out until February 1st. Again, super excited to jump into two of her books and again the reviews on the first one are amazing so I can only imagine the second one is just as good so I cannot wait to jump into her books. But that is what I have for my January TBR. I am so excited to jump into every single one of these books. As you can tell, I will show you again the books I have here for the month. And again, you know, these are the books that I plan to read. Like these are the books that I really want to get to this month. And that's not to say I'm not going to have more graphic novels or manhwa or manga in here. As you guys know, those are like faster reads so I can get through them faster. Not that I, not that I want to get through them, but you know, they're just faster to read. So I may be able to get to more of those later in the month, but I, those are the ones, you know, that are on my priority TBR for the month. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I want to know what are you reading this month? What are you so excited to get to? I know this is coming out a little bit later in the month, but what is your most anticipated read for the month? Again, guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you. I can't thank you enough for being here. And if you like this video, make sure to give it that thumbs up. And if you want to stick around for more bookish for related content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would absolutely love to have you. Again, thanks guys. I appreciate you so, 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 so much and I will see you guys soon.